My name is Aaron Rogers and I'm a sales engineer for Groundworks Solutions. The building next to me is Kentucky International Convention Center. It was built in 1977 and the state of Kentucky decided that they wanted to update the structure, requiring the complete demolition of half of the building, which is a full city block. But what was interesting about it is the demolition only happened above grade. Uh, so by cost analysis, the owner decided that it was cheaper and quicker to actually leave the foundation in place and uh, increase capacities, add some different foundation elements, then it would be tear it out and replace it. That's where Groundworks came in. Another part of the specification was that the design had to be made by a registered engineer in the state of Kentucky. We used a third party engineer, Golder Associates, and uh, they did our design for the capacities and settlement analysis and then ultimately stamp the plans. The requirements they gave us on the footings were that they wanted to increase the bearing capacity by 50% and they wanted a maximum allowable settlement of a quarter inch. What the project team and engineers found very unique about our system was that we only required a 5 8 inch hole uh, through the footer and we were able to then give them the parameters uh, which were quite stringent of the capacities and settlements uh, just by putting a 5 8 inch hole uh, in the footing. And the way the process works is it's a two-part polyurethane. Uh, the two different liquids travel in separate tubes till they reach the injection point. Once they reach that point, they mix together and a chemical reaction happens that actually causes the material to expand about 25 times the original volume. That expansion actually pushes it out into the soil, fills all the voids, uh, and when you're in a granular material like we were in sand here, uh, it actually goes in between the grains and the void space and then creates one a uh, new matrix of soil that's a combination of polyurethane and sand. It was 55 footings. Uh, we injected the high density polyurethane down into the soil as deep as 14 feet below the bottom of the footing. And by doing so, we were able to increase the capacity by 50%, also meet the settlement requirements from the spec. And it was done on time and on budget.